Hello there. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, we are going to be working on uh, ooh, Psalm 56 today. We're going to be overcoming clutter in our homes. So we want to make sure that all the, the disorder in our homes uh, is healed because if, if our homes are not in order, it is impossible for our lives to be in order and it's definitely very very difficult to make any magic very operational so we want our lives to be in order okay so that means thing little things like making sure that you make your bed every morning making sure you put things away finding a place for everything and putting everything in its place now the reason why this is so important is because everything is a reflection of your mind and they say that that order is heaven's first law so if there's a lot of cupboards and closets and drawers that that are filled with clutter and your refrigerator's like all got all kinds of gunk in it that the, the little you know rotten food and <laughs> um all of that your home needs and does and deserves to be in order it doesn't matter what how much money you have it doesn't matter how quote nice your things are if they are in order then blessing comes from gabrielle into your home automatically it has a it has a glow of holiness over it and that's when you can start to pull in more and more and more good um, but it's hard to pull good in if everything is a big old mess. So we're going to get rid of that clutter, okay? And and I want you to to recognize that this is a magical operation. You're not just cleaning your room because your mom said so. You, this is a magical operation. If there's disorder in your home, it is going to thwart your effectiveness magically. So we're asking for Gabrielle's um, help with this. It's a very important thing. Okay, and we've made a nice uh, talisman of Gabrielle. And if you want to know how to do that and you want to make your own, you can do that. And uh, the, uh, the link to that is on this video. And we are including all of you in our prayers today, including into this talisman. All right, so we're going to be working Psalm 56. And as those of you who have worked this with us before, you know what that means is that we read the psalm magically, not religiously, and we're going to be applying everything in this psalm to our purpose. Okay, so we're going to read through it once as an incantation and once through very, very slowly, applying these principles to ourselves and planting little seeds that are magical seeds hidden within each verse of the psalm into our deep minds, and they are going to bear fruit. And you're going to see that um, you, you'll be motivated to have great order and beauty in your home as a result of doing this, all right? There's all kinds of wonderful things you can use each of these psalms for. So Psalm 56 is not just for uh, eliminating clutter in your home. It's just one of many, many, many things you can use this psalm for. But today, that's our goal. All right, Psalm 56. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresseth me. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time I am what time I am afraid I will trust in thee. In God I will praise his word, in God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words, all their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together, they hide themselves, they mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity? In thine anger cast down the people, O God. Thou tellest my wanderings. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. In God will I praise his word. In the Lord will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Thy vows are upon me. O God, I will render praises unto thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Wilt thou not deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? All right. So let's unpack this. <laughs> be merciful unto me, O God. Okay, so again, who is God? God is our source. God is the very life principle that exists in us. We are 
to God as a sunbeam is to the sun. So we are not separate from God. We are one with God. And God is the very thing that keeps us breathing and makes our heart to beat. For man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresseth me. In this particular instance, man is swallow, swallowing you up is your clutter, is your tendency to um, hoard and be messy and throw things where they don't belong and, and keeping stuff that you don't need anymore. That's the man that we're talking about in this psalm. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they may be many that fight against me, O thou most high. Okay, your enemies are, your enemies are swallowing you up at home. If you have clutter, if you have, if you, if you are encumbered with all these, these things that you don't need or really want. I mean, now I'm not saying that you should get rid of everything, but do get rid of stuff that, that is, that is worn out and broken and and not not to your benefit even if you think you need it if it's if it doesn't bring you joy get rid of it okay those are your enemies that are swallowing you up what time i am afraid i will trust in thee so if, when you're afraid you're going to trust in god not in things okay so if you're afraid of your mess your mess rec represents your fear put god in the, put, put god in there instead and then go clean it up. In God will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. All right, so disorder is a, a manifestation of fear. All right, so when you clear away all of that clutter, you have to recognize that you're not, there's nothing to fear because there's nothing that, that can be done to you because you have God. Okay, there's nothing to fear. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. Okay, so all of the all of the the parts of you that are not that don't have your best interests at heart, that don't know your best interests, that maybe are are constantly trying to keep you from your good, those are the thoughts that keep you in a mess at at a home. Um, and every day they rest your words. All their thoughts are against you for evil. They don't have your, your best interest at heart. We used to say, um, my, my first teacher used to say, demons live in clutter and grime and dust and dirt. So wherever there's a mess in your home, that's where demons are, are alive. That's what she would say. And that's what this means. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps. They wait for my soul. That's what your clutter is doing. It's marking your steps. It's waiting for your soul. And it's, again, it's not the clutter that you have to be afraid of. It's your, it, you have to be afraid of anything, but you have to recognize that the thoughts within you that create that amount of clutter are not your friends. They are trying, it's trying to keep you down. It's trying to keep you from succeeding. It's trying to keep you from joy and from feeling good. You know you're going to feel better when everything's in order. So, so they gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark your steps when they wait for your soul. They, they're, they're out to, to destroy you, those thoughts. And again, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's, it's stuff you made up. These are thoughts you made up. You're in charge here. So ask me. But see, the thing is, is it's impossible to be delivered from, from, from the darkness of your own creation because you're so good at creating it. That's why we ask God to deliver us. Okay, there is a way out. Shall they escape by iniquity? And thine anger cast down the people, O God. Okay, so God's never really angry. Right? That doesn't, that's not true, but it can seem like God is angry. All right. So in thine anger, cast down the people, O God, and otherwise clear this mess. Help me, O God, to clear this mess. I don't even know where to start. Help me. All right. Thou tellest my wanderings. Thou put my tears in thy into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? Okay. So God knows, saying that God knows everything that's going on. God knows every little thing that's going on. So doesn't he know how to clean up this mess? Doesn't he know how to clean up this clutter? Maybe your clutter is, uh, maybe you have everything together in the, in, and you don't have clutter in your physical universe, but you have clutter in your bookkeeping or your filing or whatever it is. God knows where it is and God knows how to help you clean it up.
Okay? There's nothing that God can't find and help you with. When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is with me. Right? So you have to just turn to God and recognize that if something's not working, that means there's disorder in your life. And you need to go to God to help you reorder it. There is so much magic in just working on the clutter and working on the little physical things in your life because they represent something much, much greater. And God knows how to handle it. In God will I praise his word, in the Lord will I praise his word. All right? So, um, as you're cleaning, you can you could even use this verse as a mantra. In God will I praise his word, in the Lord will I praise his word. Because what you're doing is you are you are blessing your home. Now, if that's a little too biblical for you and you're just like, oh, okay, I can handle the Psalms for like a spell, but I don't want, to, I don't want them as a mantra, then find something else. Like, um, uh, I, I now... Um, uh, I now call upon divine order in my life. I call upon divine order in my life. I call upon divine... I, I, call, I, I invoke divine order in my space. I invoke divine order. You can do that over and over again as you are clearing and cleaning. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do to me. Right? So in this, in this case, man is your, doesn't mean people. Man means your bad habits. So you're not afraid of those because you're putting your, your trust in God now and those things have no more power over you. By the, and so, so that whole rule that, you've, that, you, that maybe you've, you've uh, adopted for yourself, like, yeah, I'm kind of a mess. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, or the one I used to say is, yeah, I'm not real tidy, but I'm real clean. You know, like, because I was always, I was never like, I never let the toilets get filthy, but I just had like clutter everywhere and it, somehow that was okay. I stopped that. I stopped, I stopped identifying with that. I stopped making that my personal law. It's no longer my law. Now I've put God and my, my trust is in God and I'm not afraid of, of, what, of what my habits can do. And I'm no longer uh, identifying with my messes, right? I'm just letting God help me clean them up. Thy vows are upon me, O God. I will render praises unto thee. So God will help you in all ways. All you have to do is be willing. And that's what the vows are. You have to just be willing to do your part. And it's really not that big of a deal, right? On your part, you really have very little to do. You just have to be willing to be led. And I promise you, God's not gonna say, yeah, just keep your mess. <laughs> nope, that's not gonna happen. <clears throat> For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Okay, so you think about your messes as being little death wishes, little little places where you just are dying to your own good. You're dying to all the all the places where you're just like giving up on yourself and just like letting yourself die. Ah, for thou hast delivered my soul from death. Wilt thou not deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? Ha! So buoy me up, so that all that I do is now going to be uh, walking before God in the land of the living, meaning that I'm going to create light and life and no more death in my world. So all... so. There's a place for everything, and everything's in its place. I'm getting rid of all those things that clutter me because those are those are little symbols of death in my life, and I don't want to be I don't want to be praising death and worshiping death. I want to praise and and worship life because that's who I really am. So all of these messes and clutters and things like that are actually robbing me of my very life. Very interesting, isn't it? So. Go clean it up. It's a lot of fun, and you can take it one room at a time, one drawer at a time. It doesn't all have to happen on one day, but just have a commitment that you're going to clean up the clutter. Write it down. Write down where the clutter is, and then as soon as you've cleaned up that clutter, check it off your list. Feel good about yourself. Call upon the power. Call upon the power of Gabrielle to help you with, with this, and, and, and she will definitely, or he, depending on how Gabrielle reveals itself to you, will be there for you, right? 
All right. Well, this has been wonderful, and I really love working with you. And I I hope that um, that you are enjoying great success working with the Psalms. Remember, if if you don't get an immediate effect from the Psalm, that just means that you need to work with it a little bit longer. You should see, um, no matter what you're working on with 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 any good system of magic, be the Psalms or another, uh, you should see some some definite movement in in your objectives within no more than two weeks. Otherwise, you need to scrap that system and try something else or figure out wh- wh- where, you're, where you're not doing it right, okay? So, and I, we recommend that you always have a goal list and we just, just limit it to six, six things that you're bringing into your life and uh, six things, three things that you're bringing into your life and three things that you're eliminating from your life. And just keep, just keep, you know, kind of look over that list every couple days or so, you know, just to, to keep it sort of top of mind and uh, make sure that you check those things off as soon as they are complete and then uh, do some sort of operation of gratitude. We like Psalm 150. That's a great one uh, for, for gratitude. And make sure that the goals that you have are, are, are uh, achievable objectives. Don't do something like, I want to eliminate all clutter for my life. No, no, I want to clean my kitchen. I want to clean out this cabinet. I want to clean out the garage, whatever. Make it something that you can do and check it off, right? And so one at a time. But 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 having the overall goal of having your entire home clear of clutter and completely organized, that's a very doable goal, but you should break it down into smaller goals to get there. All right. It's great to work with you. I love you very much. Blessed be.